right, another significant upgrade in version 5.0 is uh, desktop client automatic updates. Um, what this is, is if you've ever used Spotify um, or different types of uh, uh, thick applications on your computer, um, you may have noticed that, um, or even Google Chrome, you'll see update now button. Um, what that is, is that it's downloaded the uh, update in the background. It's already installed it or it's waiting to install it and configure it. Um, and then all you need to do is restart the client in order to get the new version of it. Um, it's great because it allows you to keep the client application really separate from the server application. Um, and it's just seamless for users out there. Um, so why we did this is we have been continually working on separating out the client from the server application to make it a little bit more flexible for uh, adding features, uh, fixing bugs and things like that, where we don't have to do a full upgrade of a system in order to address a known bug. We can just update the client for everybody if the bug is in the client. Um, so I'm not going to be able to show you this right now because, um, you know, my, my client is already up to date to the latest one. Um, but I will show you where you can find the settings to manage this. So by default, uh, this will be turned on in 5.0. Um, if you would like to keep it from happening, uh, for some reason, then you can go to the updates tab here, um, and click on the advanced settings. Um, and in the advanced settings, you can see notify about available updates. Uh, you can uncheck that if you don't want to get available updates. Um, and you can also disable automatic client updates for everyone in the system. If you're a system administrator, um, so this is how you control it. Uh, when you see it, you're just going to get a no notification up here. A new client is ready. I've seen it before. Um, and then you just restart your client. Um, so, um, you know, automatic client updates, a continual progression in terms of ease of use and security and bug fixing um, and the ability to separate out the different components of the NX platform uh, now available in version 5.0. Check it out.